What are the skills that we need to be preparing young people with in order to thrive in an AI-infused world? The first, seeking feedback. It is critically important that students learn how to use AI to get feedback, to say, how could we write code more efficiently? How I could make an argument more persuasive? What are the flaws in my thinking? Feedback is critically important to learning, but it's hard to get from humans. It takes time, and bluntly, it's, it's, it's a little awkward sometimes to receive feedback from a, from a peer or from, a, from an educator. But AI can become a very powerful tool for providing feedback to learners. Skill number two, we need to make sure learners know how to visualize ideas. Uh, often we think of AI as a text-based tool, but I actually think the visual uh, aspects of it are, are, are most important. I was working with an educator the other day, teaching young kids. I think they were like maybe first, second graders, right? And they were talking about designing cities of the future. They were learning about uh, ecology and how uh, buildings could interact with the environment and not do long-term damage. It was this great, great activity. And these kids, they had all these great ideas in their minds, you know, skyscrapers made of grass with waterfalls coming out of them, right? Just, you know, the imagination of a, of a first or second grader. It is boundless, right? But their imagination was so much bigger than their ability to draw it or to show it, it just didn't do it justice. And so by going into AI, they were able to visualize what their cities of the future could look like. And they were thrilled. They're like, yes, that's what we imagined. Could you imagine as a first or second grader having a tool that finally is powerful enough to take those amazing ideas that you have in your mind and share them with other people who can in, in, in understand them and appreciate them better? Skill number three, we need to make sure our young scholars are learning how to use AI to brainstorm solutions. Now, brainstorming is interesting uh, because there's lots of research that shows that coming up with good ideas doesn't come from particularly smart people, doesn't come from uh, tons and tons of research. It actually comes from quantity. The best ideas come from people who are willing to iterate on hundreds or thousands of solutions before they decide on a path forward. But that's hard to do. It's time consuming. And you know what? Humans aren't really good at it. If you've tried to do a brainstorming session, it's hard to do, but AI is particularly good at generating solutions. And so one of the key skills that we can be doing to help our scholars thrive in an AI world is learn to use AI as a buddy for helping uh, brainstorm solutions to real world problems. Skill four, we need to be able to use AI to know how to summarize information. We live in a world where we are overwhelmed with information coming at us so fast that it's hard to even process, but AI can be a very powerful tool to help with this. So here's an article that I should have read for my AP US history course, uh, which I didn't, uh, but instead I thought, let me, let me use this as a chance to show how we get AI help. So I went to an AI tool and I said, summarize the article, and it turns out for me, I appreciate better when I have somebody explaining something to me. So not only summarize the article, but summarize the article and have an AI explain it to me, and here's what I got. Hey Richard, let me give you a quick summary of this article. Before the conclusion of the Seven Years' War in 1763, the colonists in British North America were largely content with their status within the British Empire, benefiting from its imperial system with minimal costs. The aftermath of the war, however, marked a turning point due to the immense... Now, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause him right there. That's great, and it's simple. Honestly, I still didn't know what he was talking about. So I reprompted it, and this time I said, tell me again, but this time explain it to me as if I really don't know what I'm reading about. And also, give me an avatar that's a little more friendly, and so here's the version two. Before the Seven Years' War ended in 1763, the American colonists liked being part of the British Empire because it was good for them and didn't cost much. After the war, Britain tried to get money from the colonies by making them pay more taxes and putting British soldiers there. This made the colonists very unhappy with Britain. By the mid-1770s... And we'll, we'll cut her off there. Do you see how that adapted content to be able to be on my level, my depth of experience and, 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 and interest, I could have even gone a step further and said, and do it with some examples related to something that I care about, right? Do you see how this empowers learners to be able to take content that is thrown at them and adapt it into something that works for their needs? Very powerful. Last skill. We need to help scholars learn how to use AI to deepen their understanding. How can we use it not just to get content, but to debate a particular topic? Have students learn how to have a debate with AI. Here's my position, give me a position that would be an opposite view of mine, right? One of the challenges that we have is that our digital world has eroded civility in part because we don't have enough opportunity to hear varying viewpoints. And so having AI generate multiple viewpoints back to us can be very helpful. And we can go even farther than this. Imagine if we said, for example, 
we want you to have a conversation about a particular topic, not with your teacher, not with your peers, but with the previous US president. What if we said, you're going to ask AI what George Washington thinks is the greatest threat to American democracy, right? That's an interesting topic. And then, as a result, you could, you could reflect on that. Do you think that's really right? Do you agree with the position that AI took? And is that really what George Washington might say if he were here today, right? These are deep learning experiences that can happen when we use AI as a way to challenge and push our thinking.